Okay. Hi again. I don't think I've ever said it, but hey, I'm, t I'm the tired mom in a bathrobe. I don't have my bathrobe on. Sorry about that. Usually do. I want to say something about these green onions. I'm sauteing the mushrooms. Here's one. To go with the quiche. I don't think this is going to show. I'm in bad light. I will work on this. But just pull off. If you see a bad end, just pull it off. Okay, I've washed three bunches here and trimmed the ends. Okay, here's one that's a good example. I don't think that's going to show up, but there's a little bit of brown on that. I'm going to pull that right off. And whenever you, with green onions, whenever you pull one layer off, you're going to get the tiniest little thin layer. That you, and you want to get that off too. Okay. And so, while the mushrooms are sauteing, lovely, don't know if you can see those, okay, let me not mess with my phone, I had it just so it would, you could see the cutting board. The mushrooms were done in the food processor, I'll put these in order. But the green onions, I do by hand. Now, I have talked about wooden cutting board safety before. I'm not going to go into it right now. All I'm going to say, there's a movie on TV. All I'm going to say is that, um, for right now, is that I keep a separate cutting board for meat. And I actually rarely cook with raw meat. And if I do, I open the package and I dump it right in the pan. It never touches my cutting board. So I'm going to cut. This. These will wilt. They will shrink down when I cook them. So it really doesn't matter if they're all the same size or if they're all super skinny. But I'm going to finish cutting these. And as soon as the mushrooms have basically wilted, that's all you have to do because it's going to go in the oven as well. So as soon as those mushrooms have wilted, I'm going to take those off and start on the onions. Okay.